It doesn't matter how far you throw if you can accurately approach the basket. Here's what I mean. If the putting green is where the most strokes are gained or lost in a round, then the approach shot has to be the second place where the most strokes are gained or lost in a round. In other words, bad approaches are going to create more bogeys on your scorecard, but good and great approaches give you far more opportunities for birdie or to save par. Hey everybody, what is up? It's Antonio and welcome back to another episode here on Gladiator Disc Golf. I'm so excited you're here with me today. It is day 12 of the 30 videos and 30 day challenge and we're talking about approaches. Now there are really two ways that you can practice approach shots. The first is to go to a field and set out some cones and practice throwing approach shots. And I made a video about this a couple years ago that I think is super helpful if that's the kind of practice you want. But the other way to practice, the way that I actually recommend, is to come to a course like I'm at today and to practice your approaches that way. So whether you're at a field or working on a course, here are four ways to improve your approaches to the basket. Number one is first and foremost, you need to go to a standstill position. When approaching the basket, don't try to do too much, whether it's a forehand or whether it's a backhand, get into your standstill position. Tip number two is to aim to the left or right of the basket to account for fade and ground play. Now, obviously not every hole is going to give you enough wiggle room to account for that much ground play, that five to 15 feet of ground play, and that's totally okay. You would just have to account for that maybe by throwing with a little bit of Anheuser or throwing nice and flat so that the disc doesn't get nearly as much ground play. Tip number three actually comes from my video where I talked with Greg Barsby about how to improve approach shots and really running the basket and that kind of thing. And one of the things that he told me is sort of opening up those hips and getting that foot opened up, looking at your target. If you do a closed hip throw, this is typically for power shots. Shots. But for an approach shot, you're looking at anywhere from, I mean, let's be honest, 60 feet to 200, even 250 feet, okay? That's a huge range. This is going to help control just how much power we throw with, and it's going to help us keep our eye down the fairway or at the basket as we approach the green, you know, to get that birdie, to save that par, or in some cases, to save the bogey. Hey everybody, hope you enjoyed the video so far. If you have, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for disc golf tips in the future. Okay, let's get back to the video. And then tip number four also connects to tip number three. Okay, tip number four, shorten that backswing. The worst thing that you can do to improve your approach game is to go for full extension and then throw it very softly. Typically, it's not going to happen. You're either going to throw a really wobbly, poor shot, or you're going to throw it way too hard and you're going to completely miss the basket. So as you have your hips open, as you're kind of keeping that eye on that target, we want to shorten that backswing. You want to keep things as normal as possible. So however you normally throw, kind of just go, okay, shorter than that, shorter than that, shorter than that depending on the distance and what you're trying to accomplish. Earlier in this video, I recommended coming to a course to practice approach shots. Now, not every course is going to be conducive to this kind of practice. You wanna have something with short tees, or if you're playing a local pitch and putt course, that works really well. Those are the ones that you're gonna to wanna to stop and kinda of camp out on for a couple throws and really work on that as you play your round of golf. So I'm here at a local course on hole two the red tees, it's 135 feet with sort of the angle and everything. It might play more like 140 to 150. Honestly, the perfect approach distance. There's a backhand line and there is a forehand line that's a little bit trickier. So this hole in particular is a great place to come out with a couple discs as you're playing your round and just practice these kinds of shots. Now here's the cool thing. And this is something that admittedly I'm not great at. I love approaching a basket with a putter or with a mid-range or something along those lines. Clearly, I gotta work on a few things, but you get the idea. I am, however, 
horrible at approaching a basket with a driver. I just don't like it. I don't like the feel of it. I like taking a slower disc. So something like this, 150 foot hole, 130 foot hole, is honestly gonna be really good practice for me to take a couple drivers here and just kind of toss them at the basket and learn how they are gonna fly for me on lower power. Because it's not something I'm really familiar with and it has cost me a lot of strokes. That is one of the biggest things that I strongly recommend coming to a course, working on approach shots, playing the short holes, obviously using your approach discs, throwing a couple mid ranges in there as well, but don't forget the drivers. It's a sneaky, sneaky part of the game that'll really help you when you have really long par fours and par fives or having a driver to approach or specific angles that you're trying to attack, a driver is ideal for that. So go ahead and apply these tips to your next round. See you next time where we talk about the brace leg.